So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Sony 7, uh, no, the Sony Alpha 7 II, the mirrorless camera. Um, the reason so I bought it, why well, I'm actually really happy to have this camera, um, I bought it for 900 euros, brand new, coming straight from Hong Kong to Europe. Um, that was the best deal I could find and having a brand new camera, even if it's an older one, is always a cool surprise. Then you get to unbox it. By unboxing it, you have this pleasure of having like a, a brand new camera, even if it's an older camera, but that's great. Um, what, what are my thoughts about this camera? I think it's like the best value camera in 2022 to buy like a brand new camera. You have the mirrorless technology. You get to get familiar with mirrorless uh, technology. That's also the reason why I bought it. I didn't want to spend like all my money for the newer camera. Like now we're having the uh, 7 Alpha 4, but having the 2 is a great thing. Um, the only cons that I'm having is like uh, the focusing system is, is a little bit laggy. Um, you do not have like uh, auto eye detection, something that I think it's really sad they haven't implemented into the firmware, um, even having firmware updates. But of course, I, I understand Sony. The reason why they didn't do it, it's because the differences between the uh, Alpha 3 and, and 2 wouldn't make much difference since they have the nearly same sensor, same megapixels. And if you would add it uh, an auto eye focus, they would barely be, the, they, they would be the same cameras. <laughs> Even if it's not really true, but somehow you know what I'm talking about. Um, so what is it, my question? Would I switch totally to Sony? from Canon to Sony, because you guys know I'm, I'm a big fan of, of Canon, um, but to, to really switch all over to Sony, that, that's gonna be a hard one. Um, I'd rather call myself a hybrid photographer that, that likes to use many brands, um, but they have both advantages and disadvantages. The DSLR camera to using it in a photo studio, certainly with strobe lights, um, I would definitely use a DSLR camera because things are getting a little bit too dark. Even you can like re-simulate to have an optical viewfinder. You still don't have an optical viewfinder what makes things too dark to be able to correctly focus. Um, so for that reason, in, in photo studios, I would still be using my DSLR camera. But whenever I'm going outside, I would have a big preference for this mirrorless camera. It's so light, it's so cool. Um, look how thin it is, it, it's, it's just incredible. Um, but yeah, professional work, DSLR, having fun, traveling, doing some fashion shoots, sh shots outside, that's gonna be the mirrorless camera. So as I said, hybrid user, very happy to be a hybrid user. Um, also very happy that I can finance it because yeah, I can understand that someone that just starts with photography or videography um, and they will, ha they will have to make a choice eventually. It's got to be a tough one. Um, I would still suggest them to, to go into the DSLR eco ecosystem to, to get there, to start there, learning to chimp on your screen. It's going to make you a better manual photographer. Um, but afterwards, yeah, it's, it's also a good one to, to, to try to use um, the, the mirrorless camera. Now, of course, whenever I'm going to try to make pictures inside this photo studio, the, the, the cheats I found or, or like um, the way I'm having a workaround with this camera, I'm, I'm using continuous lights. Um, I bought like good continuous lights for, for, for videography, but you, that I can also still use for photography makes makes everything fine to me it's just this big flasher here on the top that where i could you put a beauty dish on it that that's the only thing i'm still struggling about and i i don't really know how i'm gonna solve the issue but i will solve the issue and i will inform you guys how i did it um of course, here I'm going to drop some test results. Um, I already have my shots with this. I'm going to show you the pictures or the end results of the, of the pictures I made with it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, so in quality, this camera is doing fine.
I do not, um, I'm not sad about the choice that uh, I wanted to try out um, the mirrorless camera. Um, I'm also happy I went for the cheaper version and not immediately investing in, in more expensive cameras because then I would have to sell one of my baby DSLR cameras, something I'm, I'm not feeling good about. Uh, I'd rather keep them for good uh, and put them into glass to show off like uh, I used to have, uh, I used to have good DSLR cameras. Um, how does this camera feel? Um, in a previous video, I've already been talking that one of the reasons I didn't like that much these uh, mirrorless cameras is because most you have big hands. And when I put my hands on my camera, after the end of the day, like certainly at the pink side, I had like a cut feeling. Of course here, I bought it with battery grip. The battery grip is solving my entire issue. Like now it really feels good in hands. Even the thickness, okay, I have some distance here, but I can really live with it. And I'm really happy once there's a battery grip on this camera. The cons of this camera, the battery life. The battery life is extremely low. Um, that was the first thing I thought I need to handle the issue. So I need to do something about it. So by buying this battery grip, my batteries improved. Having some reviews about the better um, batteries, I found out that this one brand that scores better than the original battery of Sony, um, and that would be the Buckstar Energy, the red ones. You can immediately find them on Amazon. They're much cheaper and on the long run, they're much more resistant than the original Sony batteries. Normally I would never advise such things, but because you will need a lot of battery juice in this camera, it's better to have a plan B. And as long as it's not damaging your camera and there's a quality on it, it's all fine to me. They, 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 these are really quality uh, batteries. I really believe in all the technology. That's why I made a video about the iMac 2011, why I'm still using it, why I'm still using it, why I upgraded it, and why I can still make professional work with such an old computer. Um, I'm still believing this is applicable to this camera um, review. Like it's an older camera from 2014. Um, but if you think about it, the megapixel the full frame camera it didn't change much when having the alpha 3 coming much later um, but of course you you can make such a good quality in your pictures if you get to manage how to properly focus with this type of camera because the focus yeah that's a bit harder to get there um, I, there's a lot of times where i'm forced to shoot manually um, but with the manual option, there's such a great um, option where you really get to see what is in focus, what is not in focus. So it means it's going to um, drown some lines where you focus. So if it is the iris, you're going to see the iris like totally yellow or red. You can like uh, uh, personalize the color of your choice, but it's going to really show you what is in focus whenever you're doing manual. Um, so yeah, that's a great winner to me. Um, so who's this camera for? I would really recommend it to travelers. Travelers that don't really have like a big fortune to invest, but they still want the best kind of quality camera. That would be a great, great, great camera. Certainly if you know 900 euros, brand new, straight from the box, two years warranty. So if something goes wrong, you can still give it into warranty because of course, when you buy a second hand, you don't really know what happened to this camera. You don't know the history of your camera. So... I'd rather choose for a brand new camera and, and, and go for it. Of course, there's some people that like second-hand cameras. All respect, but for me, my camera is such a, something, such an emotional thing between me and my camera. I like to have my cameras brand new, and at least I know it's my camera. So for 2022, I would still think it's the best value camera that you can get. 900 euros, that's just nothing for a good full-frame camera. So... What about the lenses? Because of course I didn't bought the camera without lenses, so I, I needed at least two lenses. So of course I have a cheaper camera, uh, cheaper lens that you could compare with the 50 Nifty from from Canon, but it's also 1.8 uh, from Sony 50 millimeter. That was my first lens, the first go-to lens I would say. Um, the second lens that was more for professional work. So the, my favorite uh, focal length would be 35 millimeters, um, and I bought the 1.4 from Sam Sam Young. 
like a little bit the underdog, uh, the underdog from brands, a bit cheaper as well, but the build quality is uh, fabulous. It's like a, with a metal frame, the focus ring is big, nice and large. You can really go into the finest details whenever you're shooting manual. Um, and for the autofocus, I have nothing to be, there's nothing to be complained about because the price difference with, with um, uh, a G Master or a Zeiss, there's a huge price difference, but in quality, there's not big difference. So I would definitely recommend the Samyang without any hesitation. I think I'm, I'm even going to have a collection of Samyang. I'm going after this one, maybe for the 85 millimeters and, and uh, the 50 millimeter 1.4 maybe um, whenever I'm trying to upgrade from the 50 nifty, but that's not going to be for immediate because yeah, it isn't really much difference. Um, the 50 nifty is, is really doing well. Um, of course, I'm, I'm also going to have like um, a converter because I have a collection of Canon lenses. So I'm also going to try out Canon lenses on, on the Sony Sony body. Even I got like uh, many reviews on the internet that it's not good for any lens. For, for example, if you would have a Sigma lens, um, made for Canon, but you're trying it on the converter, it's not a guarantee that everything will work fine. Uh, it could go really wrong because it's really more adapted for the L lenses of Canon and, and yeah. But of course, um, many of these converters have like uh, also firmware updates so you can plug it through USB and then having an upgrade on your firmware so they're continuously working on improving things. But if I could choose, my preference is always native lenses. That's why I started with two lenses the first day I bought it. And isn't the box sexy? Orange. Makes me think that I'm going from red color ring to the orange ring. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, I'm very happy. I have like a tri mirrorless camera. I had like um, many cons about it. I may even made a video why I wouldn't buy it, but with 2022, I have seen that there's no improvement from, from the camera manufacturers. They even literally dropped uh, the, 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 the new products, new lenses, because that would be easy money for them to make, to, to make new lenses for the SLR cameras, but they just dropped the ship. So by dropping the ship, I, I, I think um, the DSLR camera, I'm still gonna be using it for professional work, uh, because for me, it's still more reliable to have a DSLR camera in my hands. Um, but whenever I'm shooting outside and I want to have like a light package with me, great camera, great value for what it is. And, and uh, yeah, I, I, I will teach myself to be a better mirrorless photographer, definitely, because I was such a hardcore DSLR fan that it's a bit with pain in the heart, but with still pleasure of having a new challenge. And if you an older photographer or your photographer that had his entire collection of DSLR cameras and you're going like against the mirrorless technology, what I would also advise you, maybe just start as me. You invest in a cheaper mirrorless camera, like an older generation that you can have for a cheap buck and just try, start with it. And maybe that's better that you just trying and testing it as having it as an own camera not a camera that you borrowed from a friend photographer because i did the same i had like a um, bad judgment about the mirrorless camera now i have a better understanding about the, the the mirrorless camera but just try it out keep your dslr cameras as long as you feel good with it um, but try the mirrorless camera bit by bit and, and you, you're also going to see why manufacturers are dropping DSLR cameras very quickly actually because making nothing new, but that, that's also a sad thing. Um, but why, wouldn't, why do I think it's not finished DSLR cameras? It's trends, it's all about trends. It comes, it goes and it comes back and I think DSLR cameras will come back. When you look at the top cameras, the, the um, like Hasselblad, Hasselblad is still with a mirror and, and that's the top of the line. That's uh, the Rolls Rolls or the Bentley of every camera, the Ferrari of a camera. And they're still working with mirrors and, and there's a reason for that. Um, but of course, let's stay positive guys. Whatever your choice is, never forget in the first, the first thing is that we are photographers. Uh, let's have fun because that is what it's all about, having fun to shoot, to correct your pictures, and, and that's what makes us one unity. We are one. 
we are all one. We are all people trying to, to be creative here, having fun. Whatever which gear you're using, mirrorless, not mirrorless, DSLR cameras, it's all about your end product, your end result, your pictures. How are your pictures? Are you happy with your end result? That's what the only thing that matters. All right, guys. So thank you very much to have watched uh, this YouTube video. Please, guys, subscribe, like this video. Thank you very much for have watched my video, guys. Take good care and see you next time. And by the way, guys, yeah, I know I haven't been so active on YouTube lately. I have a child of two years. It takes a lot of my energy, a lot of my time. Um, but I'm going to try to make at least one video every weekend. I'm going to change everything, put some more energy and effort into this YouTube channel. So guys, don't, don't give up. I'm going to be back.